Scorpio comes right after Libra, right? And I feel like that's significant because if you think about it, you know, Libra is where we start learning about the other. Scorpio is almost like that part in the relationship where the honeymoon uh, phase fades. <laughs> like all the secrets and dirty laundry start coming out and you start getting like to the nitty gritty, like, are we gonna share a bank account? Who's gonna pay rent? You know, like all of the hard kind of shit. You know what I mean? Oh, like you're traumatized from your parents, like all of this other shit, you know what I mean? Like that's, or, you know, break it or like make it or break it kind of moments too. Like, oh shit, a crisis comes up now within the relationship what's gonna happen, you know what I mean? Are we gonna make it through or are we not? Scorpio is very different from the water signs, like I was saying. If you think about it, like cancer is a crab and yes, it has claws, but usually when a crab gets scared, it goes into itself, right? It goes, it goes into its shell. Right, and that's very Cancerian too. It's like, I'm just gonna <laughs> go home and stay there, you know what I mean? Um, and eat ice cream and not freaking talk to any of you people. Pisces is a fish, right? When it gets freaked out, it runs away. Scorpio is ruled by Mars. And so once again, the scorpion, right? So it's not afraid to attack. It's not gonna be in your face though. Like I was saying, it's gonna be through some kind of indirect manner. Like I'm gonna, poison your fucking cereal, bitch, you know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> They're not gonna like pop off super easily. There, there can be a certain energy to Scorpio as well, where they kind of sense threats, right? Mars and a water sign, they can kind of feel threats and Scorpios can have a pretty bomb intuition with the water and Mars. It's like they intuitively know <laughs> like when somebody is like a, a threat or there is a threat or like, feel people's um, fear or, you know, the more darker sides of the person. Another big thing I've noticed with Scorpios, because, because they're the sign that deals with like fear and crisis and emotional kind of disturbances, and darkness and shakeups and transformation and all of that stuff, it's kind of like if you ask a lot of Scorpios, they'll tell you they don't like change. You know what I mean? Like that fixed water, like I want to be comfortable. But they're actually here to learn how to be steady through that slow transformation process, which is always fucking happening. And that's what you see in a fixed water sign. They're always fucking transforming. And a lot of the times they will tell you that, but then they will literally be caught in some subconscious we're dealing with the darker realms here and so things can be very subconscious for Scorpios but they're caught in some subconscious fucking habit cycle pattern where they are constantly bringing it on themselves I mean they are like constantly in some fucking crisis like oh my god I fucking hate this and I'm like okay well how did this happen like oh well you know I went I did that and I'm like okay well you know if you push that button that's gonna happen I know, but I just, I just felt like I needed to push it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so it's just like, they can get in this cycle of like doing something that bring, like it's self-sabotaging is really what it is. They can self-sabotage because when they are not accepting of the transformation and of the darker sides of life, and they're trying to reject it, which I've seen Scorpios do, they end up in this subconscious thing of bringing it on because they don't realize that they need it. And I was actually there because my Mars and Scorpio is pretty powerful, right? It, Mars rules Scorpio, so it's at home there. And I've been there through most of my life, bringing on these like, I mean, I used to think that my life was, I was just born to like go through dramatic crisis, death, loss over and over and over again. And like, I literally thought that that was, that like, it was like my purpose or something. And maybe it kind of is, but it has kind of slowed down. And until I realized like, I'm doing this to myself. And then when I realized, like every time I go through one of these, I realize my power. Every time I go through one of these massive transformations, I am a little bit more me. I feel a little bit more whole. And in that sense, it can also swing to the other side of the pendulum where they're extremists and addicted to transformative situations, you know, whatever. They're addicted to bringing on that crisis on themselves. And so it can swing that way too. So now every time I do have a massive kind of shake up come up, it's helped me to remember the past times that I've had a shake up 
And it's almost like I can welcome it now and be friends with it and surrender to it. And it's like fucking beautiful. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna grow so fucking much through this. And I can look forward to the, the crisis or what the change, whatever it is. I mean, I may still be somewhat scared, but I, I can find like excitement and acceptance in it. And through that, find my power and know that I'm gonna change dramatically by the time that it's over. You know what I mean? And it kind of steadies back out. And so that's the beauty of Scorpio. Like, yes, there's this deep, dark taboo, sometimes gross, like purging of swords going where nobody else wants to go. Scorpio goes into the mysterious, taboo, esoteric, occult, you know, psychological kind of places that no one else wants to go into. And they can have a real talent for seeing that in other people and recognizing that in other people and seeing darkness in other people as well.